It's New Brew Thursday! Woo! And uh, we got um, Mickler on the show today. We Finally. Mickler! Yeah. We haven't done Mickler on the show before. No, have we, we haven't. Why is that, Steve? I am not a huge fan of Mickler beers. Why not? Um, because a lot of them taste like absolute shit. Well, well, no. I think it's because I, I don't mean that actually. No, I, I there's a lot of a lot. I'm sorry, <laughs> a, a lot of Mickler beers. Own it. Yeah, no, I I do I do like some Mickler beers. I have not been a huge fan of a lot of their beers. I think for Steve so. and maybe uh, some other people, many other people. Whoa, that, that was happened. carbonated. That's that was like why, a gun, dude. Yeah, that's why they uh, put a cage on it. Seriously. Uh, they <laughs> they seem to be uh, hit or miss. But I think that's kind of how Mickler is, you know. They, well, and I think they I think that has a lot to do with the fact yeah. that they're gypsy brewers, so they're they're brewing so on different brewing systems every time. Yeah, and just one dude, Nickel, so Mickle, Mickle. Uh, I thought I, it was, I, I thought they were brothers. Name. Oh, they were brothers, and now the yeah. other no, one is no evil brothers. twin. Uh, <laughs> so, they are still brothers, yeah, but they used to brew together, and now they don't. So um, yeah. But this one, this one actually caught my eye because um, this was brewed at Anchorage Brewing Company. Yeah, um, and huge fans was, of Anchorage. Yeah, and it's actually cool because it's got even got the little Anchorage thing on the. On the other the thing I noticed there. Yeah, when you brought it over, was I was like, man, this Mickler label looks badass because it's like screen printed onto the bottle. Yeah, exactly. And usually you get little like, I that might have been my spit. Well, no, I'm actually checking to see if it's actually screen printed because it looks yeah. like it's a real label. Well, yeah, no, and that's no, the it thing. Is. It's like okay. it, look, it looks like a standard Mickler label, except it's actually screen printed. Yeah, that was what, right. what was cool about it. It's uh, like, wow, like they put their big play bands. And this is this is mistaken as a collaboration, but it's not a collaboration. Anchorage, I don't do not believe had anything to do with the brewing, but it's called Invasion because they invaded Anchorage's brewing thing, and actually, this is their first time bottling their beer in the U.S. When it's not a collaboration. Yep. Um, we should say also this is the Invasion uh, Farmhouse IPA. Holy shit! Another. Yeah, it's got a lot of. That's got it. a lot of funk on the nose. Got some funk and that CO2 just kind of. Yeah. Me out of it, nowhere. It, yeah. It just shoves <laughs> that aroma in your face. I'm a little worried about the carbonation on this because even the head on it's just the huge bubbles are always a concern for me. It's big and rocky. Yeah, it's um, fluffy. What but are you talking about? It smells great. This is uh, bottled with Brett. Uh, what? Did did we not cheers? Do? No. Sorry. I'm. There we go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> See, it wasn't just me. I didn't swallow. Oh, <laughs> too easy. Hello, I too did. Easy. Uh, too easy. Too um, easy. You're saying too easy was a little alone. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna take a sip now. Now we will take sips. Definitely funky. Mm-hmm. Like man, that's in a good way. Like, I'm. I think wow. though that this is definitely a beer you're gonna need to drink right away, given it's the carbonation level. The, the carbonation frightens me a little bit. Like it's almost got. Yeah, it's perhaps like, some infection what's going, going on, on there. I, well, the, the, it's, it's it's bottled with Brett, and so I, I imagine because it's like farmhouse styled. Farmhouse ales a lot of times are really high in carbonation. It's one reason they bottle condition them. Um, they put them in bottles with the cork and cage because that can take the uh, the extra pressure. Um, but um, yeah, I, I wouldn't really say like it's this. a I wouldn't say it's a concern Good. that it's over carbonated due to right now. Yeah, due to bacteria, I think it might just be over carbonated. Period. Period. Yeah. yeah I, I don't so. know. It's it's. It always I'd that's just it's, always like when I see that it's like oh it's very high drink this quickly. Yeah. Well, and it's an IPA, so drink it quickly anyway. Like that's true. That's although that's, farmhouse IPAs you can kind of get away with aging. It's kind of a funky thing. But they turn because they turn into something a little bit different. Ah. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing because, um, like, <laughs> the, the hop is a good one. Um, There's that CO2. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> and stuff. I, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, with the whole farmhouse IPA thing, especially if it's bottled with Brett, like, eventually those hops are going to fall off, but you're going to get a lot more of that Brett, like, funk quality, I, I, which it already has. I think space. what will um, happen is that instead of turning into a bad like barley, barley wine, wine like yeah. they, most IPAs do, this will turn into a kind of bad Saison. No, probably a good funky Saison. Saison. I think it'd be good. Uh, Maybe a bitter Saison. Yeah, you know? it would be, it'd definitely be bitter for sure. And because it's like 8%. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, Which is in the range to, to seller. Yeah, well, it and, and it's also in IPA and in farmhouse range, right. so. It does kind of remind me of the, uh, the Mad Hatter not the Mad Hatter, the Farmhouse. Farmhouse. Yeah, Hatter, that's the yeah. Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter series. Yeah, 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 yeah. from New Holland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, because that was this is really dry, you know. Yeah, super I mean, dry. It's, it's Holy like, crap. I mean, this is almost like the Mad Hatter mixed, and I maybe you guys aren't getting this off of it, but mixed with their rye IPA. Like, I don't get the rye flavor, but I get that mouthfeel that I normally expect from a rye IPA. 
It does have a, a little bit of like almost a slickness to the rye, mm. it, even though it's as so dry and and carbonated. I mean, this thing just like it's got a it's right got an amazing palate. flavor profile though. I mean, yeah. it's 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 definitely a delicious beer. It's it's definitely good stuff. I have no complaints about this beer. So congratulations, Mikkel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Mikkel. I mean, the Mikkeler makes. I mean, they're I think they're best known for their. Um, a lot of their barrel aged stuff, their beer geek breakfast. The beer geek breakfast is um, the big the beer one. Geek well, yeah, and, and, yeah, and those beer beers, I will coffee. say, for the record, I do love those beers. They're fantastic. Um, I think the the beers that I've not historically liked from them have been their their IPAs, and you that's know, mostly because I think they're bottled across the country. They're the, shipped across the you know, Atlantic. Yeah, across, yeah I don't yeah, care who it is. If you're getting an IPA from Europe and it doesn't taste good. That it's not the doesn't brewer's fault, bad. right? You know, it could actually, just be old. I remember reading that Mikkel is actually going to be brewing at Drake's. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was just about to say that when yeah. Yeah, when Steve said this was the first beer they brewed and bottled in America, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I mean, well, and I, they've I think they have brewed at Drake's. Okay, but this is the first time they have bottled their own beer in a brewery. Okay. But, but Drake's was supposed yeah. to be their like USA brewery. Their brewery. Hub. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The con but, like a contract situation. Yeah, which, which is awesome because, like I said, I mean, I'm I'm kind of with you. Like I've had a few of the IPAs, and I I'll, after a couple, I've kind of avoided them as a rule. And I've always just chalked it up to, to the be fact honest that with you. I think they're I've traveling had... thousands and thousands right. of miles, especially on the well. West and that's Coast. the other thing. Like they yeah. were at Firestone Walker's Invitational Fest, mm -hmm. and they had um, and that's a like a little Tarantino moment. Um, Go back a little bit it's to, they had the Big Worst. Oh, yeah. Which, I'm sorry, that beer was horrifying. It was horrifyingly bad. I have never had a beer that, that offended me as much as that one did. Wow. No offense. <laughs> Steve was offended. If you could not take, if you can not, not take offense to that. Anyway, um, it, that beer was like drinking straight up rubbing alcohol. Right. Like, it was horrible. Um, but they had it at the Firestone Walker Fest, aged on red wine barrels, I think I want to mm -hmm, say. Mm -hmm. And it was delicious. It tasted really good. Right. So I don't know if it's a shipping thing or what the deal was, but it was just, that was, yeah. And that's, and that's part of the problem that I've had with Mickler in the past is that I tend to drink their beers and go, oh. Uh. Yeah. It's and it's not so much like I hate this beer. It's there are so many other better alternatives local to me that I don't feel the need to go after this beer. The only thing I could say that I agree with you that on are there like IPAs and stuff yeah. like, like that. Like the Beer Geek Brunch and Beer Geek Weasel and all is those brunch beers. or breakfast? The, the, there's, the brunch, brunch is, is with the weasel. With the weasel yeah. yeah, Beer Geek Brunch is weasel. Beer Geek Breakfast, breakfast is, is their very, normal one. Okay, yeah. And their, their Rauk, Beer Geek Bacon, the Rauk, 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 Rauk yeah. Everyone, that one. Yeah. Is, that one's fantastic. They're oh, fantastic beers. There's a beacon yeah. on the label. Right, they're fantastic beer. beers. So I mean, I, and I'm not saying that Mickler is a bad brewery. I'm just saying that I have not had good success with their IPAs well, maybe and some of their other beers. Steer yeah. clear of the uh, right. the beers that should be consumed fresh. Right. Now. Yeah, for for the moment at least. So I think now yeah, is a good time to go to a master pairings. Uh, is it? It would be. Oh, uh, we don't have any. Um, sorry. So um, we're actually not going to have a couple of master pairings for a few weeks, and we apologize for that. Um, Bill's kind of busy. Bill's busy, and the schedule scheduling's been difficult. Um, so. Instead, we're going to send you off to a boom, and then we'll probably be right there. We may so. have another beer. We may not. And if it's a boom without a beer, then don't be disappointed. If we have another beer, then yay. We never know what's going to happen. It's, it's crazy. It's so wild we're going to see what happens in three. That was a two I did. Three, two, <laughs> one. Boom. Does that work? No, <laughs> not even a little bit. Anyway, we're back. Are you choking? Yeah, we did, yeah. So as we say, there was no master pairing, and you were excited. You were you were thinking to yourself as we transitioned. You're like, they're gonna do master pairings, and then we're like, no, no sorry, no, it's not happening. Never. So no um, master pairings. Well, instead of master pairings, we're gonna do this. Another beer. Another but beer. before we do that, final thoughts on this beer. I have the yeast shot. I poured that for myself. It's I all. I think we all got a delicious. portion of that. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so I I honestly um, I I went into this expecting to like it just because it's kind of my style, but I'm really enjoying this. I think this is really really great. I went into it expecting not to like it mm -hmm. because that's my that's my mindset. Is your, is your no Mickler, offense, Mickler bias. That's my my Mickler mindset. Um, yeah, that worked. That's like a, that's, that's a hashtag right Ooh. there. I'm, um, I'm, overall, I'm a fan. But I loved it. I, I think it's it's fantastic. It's oh. a great beer. It's definitely one you drink fresh, though. There's yeah. a lot of sirens going on, yeah. by the way. In is the that? ghetto! 
Um, okay, but yeah, no, I am, I am for it. It's super dry. Um, it's tasty. Uh, the bitterness is there. And the shot of um, yeast is delicious. It, it just, I mean, it. I could drink a bottle or two myself and not even. Yeah, not even think twice about, about it. it. Yeah, right. For sure. So, and it's and it's a good, good like job, end Nicole. of end of summer beer because it's still warm out and so it works. It's still very, very fucking warm out. Yeah, like, exactly. Hey, watch <laughs> well, your fucking language. Well, not not here. It might not be quite as warm. Yeah. yeah I'm you, not yeah, gonna figure this yeah. out. You got it. Um, but anyways, uh, for beer number two, um, <laughs> John will open it with my fancy schmancy brew dog bottle. Opener. Fancy. Speak of the devil. Um, but for beer number two, um, I'm very excited because uh, we're doing a new Belgium and Alpine collaboration, the Super Super IPA. Super IPA. For New Belgium, who makes great IPAs, and for Alpine, who, who makes, makes stellar insane IPAs. IPAs. Like, yeah. Kill your mama IPAs. <laughs> like this beer them, make you slap your mama. I can smell the hops from here. This shit is good. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. All right. Well, cheers to collaborations. Cheers number two. This is dry hopped with two tons of hops. <laughs> two tons of hops. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, um, it's like, psh, yeah. and apparently like, what they said is, um, that's why you can't brew a single they, beer. They used more hops <laughs> exactly. in 20 hours um, than they did the entire year that Alpine, <laughs> Alpine's hops. Um, and so, and this is triple dry hopped. Wow. Yeah, so this is, well, this is an shows. insanely hoppy beer. It shows. For, for Alpine to get together with New Belgium, like, if this is, like, Alpine is not widely distributed. Well, Alpine's all. not even technically a microbrewery. They're a nanobrewery. Okay, yes. They but don't exist. Let, let me finish my <laughs> yeah. thought here. So for them to be distributed on this scale, mm -hmm. like, with their name on a beer, mm -hmm. this beer pretty much exemplifies exactly what Alpine is all about. Right. As far uh, as their, uh, as far as their IPAs go. Yeah. They yeah. make excellent IPAs. Mm. This beer is all kinds of hops. Like all you're getting off of it is just, and it's like a collection of hops. Like there's yeah. piney, there's some great let's, fruit let's in really there. Let's really take a minute and really break it down. Cause I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you definitely, I see like that pine dank, especially pine is like the first thing that hits mm -hmm. me. But I mean, it's, it's like one a of those spicy things. pine. And there's just yeah. there's a bit of grapefruit on the back end of the, yeah, the it, well, aroma. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I mean, you stick your nose in it and you get like a a little bit different aroma every time. You know, get a little bit of grapefruit. And this has the melanoidin um, malt bill and the acidulic acidulated acidulated malt. Thank you. Yeah. Um, both of those are used in the malt bill. Um, so it's really they use acidulated malt. Yeah. It's probably like a just mash pH. Or yeah, something it's like gotta that. be. Yeah. What, are you, what are we getting off the taste on this thing? I'm actually, I'm surprised. I, I expected it to be like face ripping bitter, and it's definitely got bitterness for oh, sure. Oh, it's very bitter. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, I, I was expecting like numb tongue from bitterness. But this it's, is, it's, I don't know. I kind of got numb tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle of both of you. I see what you're saying. I, I would not be able to do this entire bottle by myself. I tried, and I couldn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm I not tried and I failed. I didn't try because I was like, I'm up for the challenge. It was like, oh, cool, I finally got this beer. And so I was like, challenge accepted. I poured a glass and I was like, this is awesome. And then like three or four sips later, I'm like, I don't know if I can finish it's, this bottle. It's intense. It's really, really hoppy. Yeah, like it's, it's super bitter. intense. Yeah. I mean, the the hop flavors you're getting, it's like all over, it's all, all over the, the map, spectrum. Yeah. You know, I mean, you get the piney flavors, mm. um, that citrus note. Um, it is. It's. It's like really, really, really sticky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, get, it, you get like a, a lot of the dankness. Yeah. yeah. You get like a, a leafy sort of character too. The stems and sticks yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's. It's like pot in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's if really only. good. If I only. If only. I say it's like a fine endo. Like I said before, I mean, uh, for, for Alpine to be nationally, well, you know. It's as close to nationally as they're gonna get for distribution. Yeah. Um, they fucking you know. This, yeah. This it's awesome. this is, it's New Belgium, but this is a this New Belgium knew what they were doing when they got when they got together with Alpine. Yeah. Right. It's, it's very, this very, is like I could yeah. see new, like a less knowledgeable brewery going, oh hey Alpine, let's brew a saison together. No. no. <laughs> the New Belgium's like, yeah, this is gonna be the hoppiest beer ever made. You're yeah. wasting your time. Yeah. You know, like, like they're like, why would we dry hop this with one ton of IPA or hops? Let's do two tons of hops. Like two? what? That's four thousand pounds of hops? Yeah. yeah. That's Fuck. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Four that's as big as my garage. <laughs> <laughs> right? Probably bigger. Probably bigger, yeah. Probably bigger. I mean, come on. Yeah. So anyway, thank you very much for watching uh, this week. 
we're going to be... Did we already mention the Bruja? Huh? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, this, this weekend, weekend we're going to be at the Bruja. Huh? Yep. Um, if you haven't bought your tickets, uh, hopefully there's still some available. Use the MBT VIP code. Get a free VIP upgrade because we love you. Mm-hmm. And In it's, a biblical uh, way. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> no, we don't. But no, it's, it's, it's going to be an awesome event. And it's going to be a great event. Um, yeah, we'll be there Friday night and Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. I'm leaving early Saturday, so, so am I. catch me early. I actually have to go to a wedding on Saturday afternoon. You yelled at me for hours about leaving early. No, I'm staying the whole time. Okay. The wedding's yeah. at 6. Ooh. I have to be at the airport by 4. So. Yeah, we'll be there. You no, are we'll a there. jet setter, man. I go places. Back? Yeah, right. I go places. There you go. We have uh, JBF coming up. We're going to do an epic bottle share at our house that we rent every year at JBF. Yes, and I think this is a good time to promote that. Um, we're going to have a Facebook event. Facebook thing. event. So if you um, want to join us, if you're going to be at JBF and you want to join us for a really kick ass bottle share, uh, come out to the house. We're about, well, I think what it was, eight miles south of Denver? Eight minutes. Yeah, it's like eight minutes, eight yeah. miles, whatever. A it's, mile a minute. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's not that far away. It's it's a cheap taxi ride. I'm gonna. Bring I a bunch definitely of... recommend you taking a taxi. Please don't drive back from our of bottle share because yeah. it's gonna be insane. <laughs> or you can actually stay there if you get that drunk. But um, I'm gonna bring a bunch of homebrew. Uh, bring a bunch of fans. And if you're a cute bar, bear, yeah. you can definitely stay there. Yeah. Holla! Uh, <laughs> I'm bringing a bunch of homebrew. I know on top of the case of homebrew, I'm bringing. I'm bringing a case of craft beer. Um, I know Matt has some extra room for some for some beer, so we might be bringing like three or four cases of beer. Yeah, we'll have so. we'll have plenty of delicious and amazing beers. Uh, so we're gonna be at GABF, obviously. Um, we're gonna be doing more of a little bit different spin on it this year, um, rather than doing a lot of floor stuff and interviewing brewers like we have in the past. We're gonna kind of focus more on like what to do after GABF. Mm -hmm. So after parties, um, and this the, is the something like yeah, there, like yeah. even if you don't because. JBF tickets, what? They sold out in, like, what, an hour? Yeah. yeah. It was insane this year, and next year is going to be worse. And so... It's ridiculous how fast this Right. Out. And so, honestly, the majority of you probably can't go to JBF, the festival. But what a lot of people don't realize is that Denver, the downtown area of Denver, becomes this massive street party during JBF. For the entire weekend. Yeah. I think and that's so that's part, what we're going to kind of cover is what to do at JBF if you're not at JBF. Yeah. That's part of the draw of JBF. Oh, absolutely. Is how much awesomeness there is in that area yeah. next to the, the brewers in center. the area and the city itself and the bar. Like, and there's so many amazing craft beer bars in Denver. Within, and they all just like, radius, yeah, so. they all just like set. And there's like, uh, Spotten does a, a big tent and uh, block party um, at JBF. Um, a lot of the international brewers, they set it up. It's like, it's almost like the American version of Oktoberfest. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. Even if you haven't gotten tickets, come um, come to Denver that weekend. It's awesome. pretty freaking awesome. But yeah, awesome. Uh, if you want to come to our little bottle share, you know, you're, everyone's more than welcome. Just RSVP so we know what yeah. we're in for. We'll set up a we'll <laughs> set up a Facebook event, and um, we'll probably limit it because we really can't have a thousand people at the house. Yeah, we're wrong. that would be awkward. Yeah, yeah, that would be awkward. Throngs of fans we'll coming out. I know there will be three of you that are like, I would like to come, and we love you more than all of the other fans. Those Let's wrap three. this shit up. All right. So thank you for watching. We're sorry about master pairings. We'll be back with that as quickly as we can, we promise. And until next time, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. Cheers.